Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down the threat of some snow across the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and the Northeast United States tonight into tomorrow. And this will bring a few inches of snow to some areas, but there are a couple areas in particular that could see as much as 12 to 18 inches of snow as we go throughout the next 48 hours. In addition to this, we'll be talking about a huge pattern change that'll be coming to the United States early next week that is literally going to flip the script. We're going to go from very cold weather to very warm weather across much of the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And let's begin first with what's happening across the United States today. And we will begin with the Midwest. And this is an area that we do have some moisture that is currently entering into parts of the Midwest, areas like Iowa, Missouri, and back into northern Illinois and Wisconsin. And all this cloud cover and the moisture is going to be riding to the east over the next 24 hours. Hours, and this will allow for some snow showers and that will lead to a few inches of accumulation in some areas and again we're have a full breakdown on the timing and as well as how much snow you will see in just a few minutes so make sure you stay tuned further off to the east of this we have a little bit of cloud cover as well back over on the east coast again nothing really significant out of this activity but just something to point out back in the southeast united states cloud cover is beginning to basically return to areas in florida and florida during el nino usually has a much cloudier time overall during winter so this is not a surprise by any means this will continue over the next few days and back through the central and southern plains things remain quite quiet for right now but that will not last much longer we are going to see a very active weather pattern especially across the central and southern plains early next week and we'll have a full breakdown on that as well later in this forecast something that's quite interesting is that we're going to be seeing a small disturbance rolling through the midwest the ohio valley and the northeast tonight through tomorrow and this is actually going to bring some snowfall to some areas now by no means will this be a full-blown winter storm across a large area but we will see a few areas that could see some pretty substantial snowfall out of this particular event so let's break it down hour by hour and give you an idea of how much snowfall you'll be seeing we'll begin first with the midwest and this is what we're looking at right now we do have some light snow ongoing across parts of iowa again overall most of this is light and fluffy snow and that's very crucial to this entire forecast because when we're talking about fluffy snow it usually does not accumulate nearly as fast as wet snow and wet snow happens when the temperatures are closer to freezing right now the temperatures across iowa they are near zero degrees so we're not going to be really seeing a whole lot of quick accumulation with this activity with that being said though we are still going to see some light snow throughout the rest of today across parts of iowa so notice that'll last about three to four hours across iowa maybe an inch or two of snow there once we go into tonight though around 9 10 o'clock that snow will start to spread across much of the midwest in the ohio valley from about chicago back even into kentucky those areas down there near kentucky and west virginia will also see some snowfall out of this Going overnight tonight, we'll continue to see some light snow move off to the east. Chicago should be done by around sunrise tomorrow morning. But notice this. We are actually going to have the threat for lake effect snow. It is really going to probably penetrate more than anything in northwest Indiana and southwest parts of Michigan. And what that means is that lake effect snow with a strong northerly wind will be blowing snow off the water here. And what we're going to have to watch for is the potential for moderate to heavy snowfall. This could lead to some pretty significant accumulation, especially in northwest Indiana. Indiana and even in southwest Michigan this is going all throughout the day tomorrow notice how that lake effect snow continues to stay light moderate and even sometimes heavy at times across these areas and this will lead to the threat of a winter storm and this is going to accumulate very quickly and it's likely going to last probably all the way through Saturday so this will be definitely a very big event here across parts of northwest Indiana and southwest Michigan even though it's a very isolated threat it's definitely going to dump a lot of snow I'll be showing you the snowfall accumulation in just a second but this is what it looks like in the northeast for tonight Notice lake effect snow still ongoing here near Watertown, New York. Overnight tonight, snow will start to move into areas like New York City, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, West Virginia, even Northern Virginia. And then back into Southern New England, we will see some light snow or flurries out of this. But again, a lot of the snow will be light. We will have some snow in here that'll be more of a wet snow since the temperatures will be a bit warmer overall in this area like New York City. So accumulation might be a little bit easier in those areas. But overall, this event will be mainly overnight tonight into Friday around lunchtime most of this activity is going to be starting to fizzle out as we go into late friday afternoon now in terms of snowfall accumulation we are actually going to be seeing quite a bit of snow for this being such a small event notice right now the hrr model indicating one to three inches of snow across much of iowa illinois back through southern wisconsin michigan and as well as a good chunk of indiana between one to three inches of snow again the lake effect snow we'll discuss here in just a moment back over in ohio and eastward i am expecting a little bit more snowfall than the midwest so i'll be talking about that
that here in a second as well. In terms of the lake effect snow event, though, notice how much snow will be dumped here near Gary, Indiana, and back near South Bend. We are going to be watching for the threat of upwards of 9 to 14 inches of snow right here, right along the immediate Great Lakes region here in northwest Indiana and southwest Michigan. Again, I would not be surprised if one or two of these areas did see upwards of 18 inches of snow when this event is all said and done. So definitely be mindful in this area. There are winter storm warnings in effect for that area as well. And for those in the northeast and as well as Ohio, I am expecting a lot more snowfall across this area in comparison to the Midwest. Notice areas in Ohio, three to six inches of snow will be possible. I do think most of these areas down in here will be around two to four inches, so western and southern parts of Ohio. And then back over near the Cleveland area, I would anticipate three to six inches of snow, maybe a few areas getting closer to the four to eight inch range. So I wouldn't be surprised with a couple areas getting near eight inches of snow. Across much of Pennsylvania, a widespread one to three inches of snow is expected with maybe about, you know, a few areas again seeing maybe in the range of three to six inches, primarily back over here in southwest and central parts of Pennsylvania. Back near New York City, this is an area that I am forecasting one to three inches of snowfall and southern New England will be lucky with a coating to maybe an inch of snow with maybe again an isolated spot near two inches of snow. And by the way, these are the watches and warnings across the United States. I just wanted to point this out. We have a bunch of winter storm warnings in effect for very isolated areas, including the Cleveland area back in the northwest Pennsylvania, in addition to the lake effect snow event that'll be occurring in northwest Indiana and a couple counties in southwest Michigan, and also our winter weather advisory stretching across a pretty large area of the United States. So I know I've said that this disturbance is pretty small in size, but again, it's actually gonna be covering a pretty heavily populated area here of the United States through the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and even parts of the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. It's a pretty big system when you think about it when it comes to the, just the overall size of how many people will be impacting. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States next week. And I'm gonna have a full breakdown on this in our next forecast, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. But here's the gist of what's coming to the United States. So we have an Arctic blast again that's going into the Midwest, the Central and Southern Plains, and the East Coast tonight through tomorrow. This is, again, not nearly as bad as the one that we just saw this past weekend, but next week is where things change entirely. We're gonna be talking about above average temperatures for much of the United States early to mid next week. Notice this entire area of orange. That is all representing well above average temperatures, especially back up here in the upper Midwest. Something that's really crazy to think about is areas in the Northern Ohio Valley could literally be 60 degrees by the time we get to this same exact day, Thursday of next week, tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday. So that'll be something to watch for. Obviously very warm weather is ahead for this time of the year. Again, 60 degrees during the summer is nothing, but you know, during this time of the year, it's definitely very different. Now, once we go into next week, again, we're gonna have to watch a disturbance back down in the Southern and Central Plains. A lot of moisture will be developing off this low pressure system and we'll have a strong southerly wind. And we actually could even see some freezing rain across areas in North Texas, back through Oklahoma and Arkansas. This could be a threat as well going to the mid Midwest Monday into Tuesday. Again, I'll have a detailed forecast on this likely tomorrow or Saturday. Notice we'll have a chance for some snow in the Midwest back through the Great Lakes in the Northeast. But again, some of the big uncertainties right now is exactly how far north will all that warm air go? Because the further north it goes, the less chance you'll basically have of seeing snow in the Midwest. Again, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We will be keeping you posted with the latest on this storm for early next week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.